Hello, this is Jeremy with Access Innovations, and in this video we're going to be talking about what a thesaurus is, what it's used for, and how it benefits the businesses and organizations that use them for database management. What is a thesaurus? The definition of thesaurus from the NISO Z39.19 standard is a controlled vocabulary arranged in a known order and structured so that the various relationships among terms are displayed clearly and identified by standardized relationship indicators. A controlled vocabulary has one term for each concept that is represented in the collection of terms. A controlled vocabulary provides consistency in categorizing documents and web pages and also adds value in indexing, information processing, search, and retrieval. Typically, several of these terms are used to describe each document or other digital media, such as an image or podcast, in a business's collection. This is considerably different from the collections of synonyms and antonyms often published in book form and first popularized by Roger's Thesaurus. What is the difference between a thesaurus and a taxonomy? The terms thesaurus and taxonomy are often used interchangeably, but there is a difference. A taxonomy is a structured hierarchy of terms, something we'll look at in more detail later in this video. A thesaurus is a taxonomy that also includes more semantic enrichment of terms. We'll talk more about semantic enrichment later in this video. How is a thesaurus used? A thesaurus can be used in organizing unstructured content by connecting disparate information assets through the use of related terms and hierarchical relationships within the thesaurus. It uncovers relationships between materials originating from different media. For example, pictures taken by a magazine company can be appropriately labeled and categorized automatically by using the index terms from the articles in which these pictures originally appeared in. Another use is in improving website navigation by having a hierarchical view on the web page itself. And finally, a thesaurus can also be used as a means for search optimization through the use of suggested terms and related content. When a user searches for all the items that have to do with a concept or combination of concepts described by these terms, the search engine can easily find them all by using the controlled vocabulary. This avoids confusion over the many ways a concept might be expressed. Confusion in relation to search terms leads to missing out on important information resources. An example of this is as follows. Imagine you are a scholarly publishing company with a lot of different articles and journals which scholars are continually accessing. Without a thesaurus, scholars can waste large amounts of time looking through all these various information assets. However, if the articles are indexed using a robust, well-defined thesaurus, a scholar can locate the abstract they are looking for more easily. The same scholar would also be immediately presented with other closely related articles, conference proceedings, and discussion groups. The scholar is now engaged on a deep level with a wealth of information assets that were previously nearly impossible to access. This is a win-win situation. Not only do you make more money as a publisher, but the scholar is able to have better access to valuable information. Let's look at an example of an actual thesaurus to further clarify what we're talking about. The thesaurus we're going to be looking at today is called News Indexer. News Indexer uses a specialized vocabulary of terms reflecting the news media's evolving vernacular. Developed and perfected by Access Innovations, News Indexer can be used with Data Harmony software for either automatic news filtering or for assisting human indexers in quickly and efficiently applying subject terms to individual news articles. We're going to be viewing News Indexer using Thesaurus Master, which is a software program designed and developed by Access Innovations in order to streamline all aspects of Thesaurus creation and utilization. To learn more about Thesaurus Master, go to www.dataharmony.com. As you can see, this tree-like structure of terms, known as a hierarchy, is the way that terms are arranged in a thesaurus so that users can understand, by position, what concept the term represents. For example, in a different thesaurus, the term whistleblowing could represent blowing air through a device in order to produce a high-pitched sound. But since it's a subtopic of law in the news indexer list of terms, we know that it generally refers to an insider that notifies the authorities of illegal activities within the organization in which they are a part. The SORI store not only the basic terms of the vocabulary, but also other information about each term in the collection. One important factor in a thesaurus, especially when it comes to searching, is the use of non-preferred terms. Non-preferred terms are synonyms and near synonyms that may be used instead of the term chosen by the thesaurus creator. To use the same example, 
Whistleblowing might be described as tattling or as snitching. Being able to reference other words with equivalent meanings makes it easier to find all the items that discuss the concept, not just the ones that use the specific word, in this case, whistleblowing. Terms in a thesaurus often are concepts related to other terms that aren't in the same branch of the hierarchy. So the thesaurus provides a way to record related terms. In this example, the term food additives is related to both the terms diet and nutrition and nutritional supplements. Each term references the other, so if you go to diet and nutrition, you'll also see food additives as a related term. Related terms are often displayed on web pages that use a thesaurus as a navigational tool for the site's content to help users discover other avenues for their search. Hierarchical structuring, related terms, and non-preferred terms enhance the scope of use and better define terms in a thesaurus. When these terms are applied to a legacy archive or database, it is called semantic enrichment because the meaning of the descriptive terms is now enhanced. So what are the benefits of using a thesaurus? Identifying the concepts represented in a knowledge collection helps an organization to define its knowledge assets. This leads to increased revenue through better efficiency amongst the organization's employees and customers. It may also reveal opportunities for more sales. Remember the earlier example about the scholar searching for just one article? The thesaurus can also be used as a navigational tool allowing users to drill down to the concept in which they wish to search. They'll learn more about the subjects included and more easily discover the range of topics covered and the preferred terminology within the organization. A thesaurus, in conjunction with indexing software tools, enables users, employees, stakeholders, and website visitors to effectively and consistently identify items that are useful to them. The more effective the search, the less frustrated and more productive the user. There is also greater potential for revenue as the customer searches more accurately reveal items that they want to buy. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to know more about the SORI or software indexing tools, go to www.dataharmony.com.